Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at Barbie Collector Black Label Hashtag The Barbie Look Dolls. Here we have Nighttime Glamour, City Chic Style, and Pool Chic. These dolls have been at the top of my Barbie wish list for a while. I found them at Barnes & Noble. They have a suggested retail price of $29.95, but on Saturday at my Barnes & Noble, they were having a member appreciation day, so everything was 20% off. Yeah! I am so excited for all of these girls because for one, I love this face mold. Gorgeous! And this is an articulated, curvy Barbie. It's not made to move. But hey, I'll take it. On the back of the box, it says, hashtag the Barbie look. She's your most fashionable friend, always in the know. Both endlessly inspired and inspiring. Hashtag the Barbie look Barbie doll makes fashion fun, taking cues from international runways and street style looks on every corner. She couples her enviable wardrobe with an active imagination to create personal style that begs to be photographed. This curvy hashtag the Barbie look Barbie doll is ready for a dazzling date night. Wearing a stunning metallic teal and gold mini dress, complete with shimmering hoop earrings and gold platform heels. This hashtag the Barbie look Barbie doll is the epitome of casual cool in her cozy cowl neck sweater dress complete with charcoal thigh-high socks and a pair of classic brown boots. This Barbie doll is ready for a glamorous poolside party, wearing a sweeping floor-length aqua blue halter dress with gold detail. Noteworthy accessories complement her chic outfit, a style icon for the digital age. Follow her everyday adventures with at Barbie Style. Yeah, Barbie Style on Instagram is a total fave. Let's get these girls out of the box for a closer look. If everyone knew, ooh, all the things I could do, she'd be down a back on my feet. Cause all I really need is me. If I could just share my view, maybe I'm too taboo. Out of the box, each doll comes with a certificate of authenticity, a doll stand, these two come with a doll stand that holds the doll at the waist, and the curvy Barbie has a different one. Let's take a look at the curvy Barbie. I am super excited about this Barbie because she is curvy and she is articulated. She has curly hair, and even though it came in a hairnet, it got a little squished in the packaging. Her ears are pierced with gold loops that can be easily removed. That's a plus. She has full rotation of the head. And look at that face. She's like super happy. Yeah, because I have elbows. <laughs> yes, elbows are a big deal around here. And we've got to see what that elbow looks like. Ah, she is sewn into the back of her dress. She has full rotation at the shoulder. The elbow is a basic hinge and there is rotation at the wrist. She wears a large gold ring, has movement at the hip, and bends at the knee. And that is the range of motion for the joint. Now I'm having some issues with this knee joint. It's very stiff and I'm having a difficult time getting it to bend correctly without bending the plastic right there. If I keep this up, I am probably going to break it. And that is not good. And this one is even more stiff. Oh no. See, you can see the plastic turning white right there. That means that it is uh, not doing what you want it to do. I am hoping that this is only an issue that I am having and everyone else's dolls are perfect. And I may be able to get this leg to bend correctly later on. But for now, I better not push it. She has gold shoes, lipstick with a cap, a compact cell phone, and gold purse. Let's take a look at Pool Chic. Out of the box, her hair is in pretty good shape. She wears the same gold earrings. Her dress is sewn to a gold necklace at the top. 
It goes all the way down to the floor with a slit on the side. It has a sheer overlay and is low cut in the back. She wears gold shoes, has lipstick, a cell phone, a white compact mirror, and a purse that can open. She has movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist. She wears a gold cuff bracelet with painted nails, has movement at the hip, and a made to move knee. Honestly, I would have liked for the whole doll to be made to move, and her too. Sorry, I just love the made to move Barbie body. And I just want every doll to come that way, like automatically. City Chic has a fabulous casual look. She is rocking a gray sweater dress. Her hair has a light wave and it is very nice out of the box. She has silver loop earrings, a brown faux leather bag, which you can actually put stuff in. Yeah, this is my favorite purse so far. Her charcoal gray socks are pretty much leg warmers. Since her dress is so short, they gave her undergarments. She wears tall lace-up brown boots, and I believe she has the same articulation as pool chic. Yep, this knee is definitely made to move. And wait a minute. Why is this one not bending? Okay, there's something there. Gotta find out what that is. And I just found out that her socks are taped on. Oh, it's just a piece of cardboard around her knee. After removing that, everything works just like it should. She has pretty cool accessories, a cup of coffee, some sunglasses, a book, a pencil, and a cell phone. I love how every doll comes with a cell phone. And the book is really cute. It doesn't open, but it's adorable. I feel a little craft inspiration. Craft time! We are going to remake her book using some white computer paper, brown paper that looks like leather, and a glue stick. Using a ruler, draw a line down the white paper, cut on the line drawn to make a one inch thick strip of paper. Draw a line at one and a half inches, cut on the line drawn, repeat to make more, fold them in half, stack and glue them together using a glue stick so that all of the folds are on the same side and the other side can open. Mark and cut a one inch strip of the leather paper, glue it onto the first page, then wrap it around, glue it to the back page, fold it over again, trim off the excess so it looks like an envelope, cut a thin strip of the leather paper, glue it underneath, cut two little lines on the flap, weave the thin strip between them, glue it in place, make a gold dot for a little extra detail, and you can make little impressions going around the edge to look like stitching. Wrap the thin strip around, tucking the end under, trim off the excess to make your own little book. Take a toothpick and I'm going to cut the end just before the last notch. Then go up about an inch and cut it. File the end to a slight point. Paint it to look like a pencil. It looks pretty close. And now you can get the Barbie look. Overall, I am happy to add these three to my Barbie collection. And I am eagerly awaiting more made to move Barbies. Different skin tones, different body types. And I'm sure the guys wouldn't mind elbows too. Let us know what you think about these dolls in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog, And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.